Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I don't know why she has, I bought her white shirt, but they're both fighting over who wins the race. Come on, let's go eat breakfast. On breakfast. Avery, who's on your shirt? Minnie Mouse. And your socks are Minnie Mouse? Oh, oh, I love Mickey. What? Yeah, I'll put Mickey when you get home from school, okay? You have to wear your school shirt. I know, it's hard to... to... School bus. Okay, play with your, your toys and we're going to eat breakfast. This is how I got down the stairs. One, two, three, four. All this. All these buttons. Yeah, we write it later, okay, Avery? Look at this. Now we're going to go to school. Yeah. All right, let's go to school. Okay, the kids are in bed. Avery is whining for me, but she's still, she's just saying mommy, mommy, she'll get over it. So I'm gonna do at least 30 minutes on this before I have to do lunches. And I think that's all I have left to do. So let's see if I can get this, get this done. But well, you have your bicycle and Barbara has his. Yeah, my bicycle has some towels. Avery, you have yours. Whoa, who bought you that? This. Daddy. Oh. Daddy bought us. Daddy bought for us. You heard her. Oh, buddy, I think we have to put your chair down. Is it hard to put it down? You need to, like. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, hold on, buddy. Daddy has to put the chair down. Put your on first. Let me see. Look up. Bye, buddy. You don't have the iPad, bud. Uh, happy Wednesday. You have to wait till we get home, buddy. I didn't bring the iPad up. Mommy will give you her phone when we get to Walmart. We're on our way to Walmart. <sighs> happy Wednesday. I hate going anywhere after school because I just I have to go home. I have to cook. I have to do laundry today. Um, I have to get everything ready for tomorrow, get the kids bathed and ready for bed. And so the later I get home, the later I get started on all that stuff. And I don't have a ton of time because some of the things have to be done before the kids go to sleep, like picking up their clothes for tomorrow. I like to do that before they go to sleep because their clothes are in their room and so is my clothes. And um, I have to get them a bath and do all that. So, but we have just some odds and ends that we need that we ran out of that I have to forget. So we are headed to Walmart. Hopefully this goes quickly and he doesn't have a tantrum. He has not been doing good at... Okay, buddy. He has not been doing good in store Pete's today. That way. What's that way? Paints that way. Paints that way? Oh, you have a good memory. So happy Wednesday. It has been a... Uh, a week, a long week, especially at work because we have testing in the morning. There's only three of us in the classroom and then just the kids have been, I it's just, the school bus. The school bus is right there. So, I can't wait for this week to be over. I Happy played Thursday. the way. We only have one today. Long story I'll tell you about in a minute. Come on. I no, don't in jump puddle. in the puddles. Great. Okay, so... Thursday. It's rainy. It's gloomy. I had a long night because Avery, just as I was going to sleep, because that's how it always happened, but Avery um, started whining in her sleep. It wasn't a full-on cry, but it was like a whine. And so I went in to check on her, and as soon as I went in and she saw me, she's like, ow, 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 saying her ear hurt. She has never, none of my kids have ever had an ear infection, and it's funny because my friend's daughter was waking up with pains the other night and it ended up being an ear infection and we we're talking about this whole ear infection thing when i was little i vividly remember around like seven years old 
I always woke up with bad ear pain. Really, really bad. Like, I was seven and I can still vividly remember the feeling of being woken out of my sleep and the pain that you just... It, I remember it. Like, I, it's just... It's still engraved in my memory. And I was telling my friend that and none of my kids have ever had ear infections. I think as babies, maybe once, um, where you take them to the doctor and it's something else, and they're like, oh, they have their ear infection, something like that, but never, you know, um, and I'm not even sure, I think, but I'm not even sure. So anyway, so she woke up with the pain, I brought her to my room, trying to soothe her, give her some Tylenol, because I'm like, there's nothing else that's gonna, like, right now in the middle of the night that's gonna soothe her. Um, but Tylenol or something to like just get the pain away until we take her to the doctor in the morning. So John was going to call out of work to go to take her to the doctor. So fine, she eventually falls asleep. And then she starts coughing. Eventually falls asleep. This morning I'm getting out of the shower and I hear her like whining. She was on my bed so I'm like rushing over to like check her. You know, make sure she doesn't fall off the bed. And she's like, she wants to get up so I can carry her but she can't keep her head up. Like, she has control of it when I was carrying her, but the minute I put her on the floor, her head was, like, going back, and and then she would, like, you know when you're falling off of something, and you, like, go like that because you're, like, falling? That's what she was doing, but she was standing, like, her feet were fine on the floor, but her head, like, she had no control of it, but when I was carrying her, she, you know, she had regular control, but, like, when she was trying to stand, like, her equilibrium was just off, but it was very scary so i run downstairs to john and i'm like look at this every time i put her down she kept doing it and it was like she was scared and started crying and so i was carrying her and i'm like i think we have to call the ambulance because i, I don't know like it was just really scary so we called the ambulance they come and they just said you know the one guy was like it could very much be from an ear infection it throws you off everybody reacts to it you know differently um some you know a little more severe than others she's never had an ear infection at this age so her thing is probably just all off and whatever but so john went with her to the hospital and it looks like it's because of the ear infection but we'd rather have been safe than sorry because that was very scary so i just dropped off phoenix at daycare and i'm heading to work now and just keeping my phone on me to see if there's any updates or anything as of right now you know she's john says that she's fine and everything but it was the scariest experience of my life like it was so scary like I, it was just so scary to think like something was wrong with her or, or happening or her body was shutting down or something like you just you always think the worst obviously and like it was just scary to see like oh but I'm just crossing my fingers and praying that it's just because of an ear infection, which everybody who's John has encountered from the ho from the time he left to the hospital, everybody that he's talked to so far has said it pretty much because of the ear infection. Um, she was just all thrown off, but very scary. So I'm heading to work um, and hopefully I don't have to leave early or anything and she's perfectly okay and it's just an ear infection they give her antibiotics and stuff but oh and phoenix this morning's like where's sister and i'm like sister i had to go to the doctor with daddy and he's like oh just give her a band-aid she'll be all better and i feel like i'm forgetting something like i don't know and then it's thursday and that's when like there's hard parking so hopefully they lock the door i'm just trying to remember i did everything because i'm just totally off and then i had just got out of the shower so i had my towel on me and then she kept like grabbing on me every time i tried to put her down so I, I had to try to put on like i put on my underwear with one hand i just grabbed like a long tank top from the drawer and like put it on like while holding her and so the ambulance is there and i have like nothing on basically and oh my goodness it was just very i need a robe because at that time it would have been perfect to just throw on a robe let's hope that everything's okay and i'm just talking now out of nerves because i'm like still i still have that nervous feeling even though she's okay i still have that like i don't know but i just spoke to you for five minutes and you know i have to find parking and hopefully it's eight o'clock which is pretty good because all this happened around from between 6 30 and 7 it was like 7 05 when they left <laughs> this song came on as I started driving off. 
Happy Friday, just dropped Phoenix off at daycare. I'll tell you, dropping one off at daycare is like so easy compared to dropping when I drop both of them off. Um, only one personality to deal with, only one mishap, and I don't know. But Avery was feeling better yesterday overall, but she does not want to stand up and walk. We kind of forced her a little bit to take a few steps, like us holding her. Um, like from the couch to me I was sitting on the floor to change her and um, John was like and she's like like so she I think she either still feels it or is um, scared to feel it and doesn't want to get up but a few times we did see her like her head go back but I don't know if she's really feeling that loss of balance or it's just her or what but so we put her to bed and then you know she was like laughing and joking and all this laying down she's like perfectly happy and phoenix is like phoenix would have been so bored as an only child because he's like get up avery or let's do this or win the race and you know how they are with winning the race and she's like good job brother <laughs> like she's like oh nope not getting up so this morning we were like determined let's see if she gets if she just wakes up and she's perfectly normal walking and running we'll take her to take care but she wasn't. She was still feeling that same way. Didn't want to walk and let go. And she's like, I want to go to school. And I'm like, but you have to get up. Come on. And she's like, no, nope, I stay with daddy. So she's home with daddy. He is going to take her to her regular pediatrician for a follow-up and see. Yesterday, John said that he saw Phoenix going like this to his ear. So when I get to work, I'm going to take him to the doctor just to make sure he is not in the beginning stages of an ear infection. I don't want him to end up like her. I don't know if he would get it the same way or react the same way, but I can't imagine him feeling like that, throwing him off. Like that would, I think, really mess with him. So, uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's been a long week. Even at work, it's been long because they've been doing testing. So since our class is mixed of different grades, there's only one third grader. Third graders test this week. There's only one third grader that's testing. So the teacher and another aide has to go upstairs with him to test all morning. So it just leaves me and the two other aides in the classroom and the ki other kids. And we have to like, you know, get their work done and stuff. It's just been a little hectic. Whenever the teacher's not really present or there's a change in schedule, things are not the same and they're a little hectic so everybody's just kind of off all of us teachers are kind of just in like this funk mood so we're just like our patience level is not there and the kids feel it you know it's just a whole thing so i'm very very happy it's friday i need a weekend to just uh, breathe and we don't have any plan plans so that's good because i can just literally just breathe so happy friday i'm glad that this week is almost over thank god it's friday this week thank god it's friday after work it's 3 54 i'm home with phoenix here we're laying on our bed my bed hi bobby oh we need tissue for your nose john has been all day in the doctors with avery so this morning she was still off balance still didn't i think i said all this so he took her to the doctor the doctor was a little concerned that she was still so off balance he made her run and walk though and john said she did okay and then but he wanted she failed the hearing test in the ear that had the ear infection so they sent her to the ent um which was far from where john was not far but a good ways away but he used to be in the same building they got there and they had him waiting so long and all this and i don't know what happened because he hasn't told me in detail yet only through text so he left and went to another place and now i was just facetiming him and they called him so they're at the ent now and then the doctor said if she wasn't better by monday he wanted her to see a neurologist but i just facetimed her and she was getting up getting books from the thing and sitting back down so in that sense she's that's definitely much better than even this morning so hopefully by monday she's totally back to normal and um does not have to go to the neurologist but i'm glad it's friday because i'm so so tired i don't drink but i need a big drink not even a big one just like a shot of the hardest stuff to have oh well it's been a long week so <laughs> well, she must be feeling better if she even attempted to run oh a little drunk? Hi, princess. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 o
Whoa. <laughs> Who got you that? Daddy. What? Are you still a little drunk? Daddy. Is, did you have a party with Daddy? You've been out all night. I mean, all day. Yeah, okay. It feels really good. Open this up. Open this up? Yeah. Look at that hair. I'm Come here. Feeling much better. Me. <laughs> I'm vacuuming, and this is what they do. Go, you're on the choo choo train? I'm yeah. cleaning the couch. Is that a choo choo train? Be <laughs> careful, Avery. I need a doctor. You need the doctor? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need the doctor. You keep being silly. <laughs> careful, because she still loses it a little bit, and then she. I need a doctor! You need a doctor? Are you silly? <laughs> tell mommy to walk. Turn me back. Ribbit. Tell mommy, tell mommy to back. Thank you. Good night, Thank kitty you. cat. Good night, four froggies on the bed bathroom mat. This is good night numbers. What numbers after four? Five. Five. Good night, five. Good night. <laughs> Good night, five points. Good night, little star. Good night, five splashes. They go really far. So Phoenix helps me unpack the groceries. I'm making big towers. And this is how Avery helps me by eating ice cream that she found in the bag.